is your time right now, and today marks the official start of National Police Week. And there's going to be all sorts of events happening around the area at the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial, in particular on East Street Northwest. The motorcycle riders taking part in this morning's kickoff are gathering at RFK Stadium. That's where you'll find our WSC9, Sarah Consmo, who is there. And Sarah, we know there was a brief delay because of the weather. So what's the status of this now? Yes, good morning. We're still waiting for most motorcyclists to show up here. We've seen a couple come through. Uh, they're riding around right now, but as they come in, they're going to be meeting a very important person here. This is Tyler Karach. He is also known as Donut Boy. Uh, can you explain to me why they call you Donut Boy? Um, because I go around giving out donuts and um, um, I guess because I'm a little kid too. <laughs> and why do you give out donuts? Because I give them out because cops always protect us and keep us safe. So I want to thank them with something. And how did you start doing this? What made you want to do this in the first place? One day me and my mom went to a local store at town and I saw four officers. So I asked my mom if I could buy the mini donuts with my own money. And when we left, she told me why they were happy about the snack I gave them. And it was not because I gave them a snack, it was because I, was say, I said thank you for, to them. So when we left, I said I want to thank every cop in America. And this is Tyler's mom, Sheena Karach, yeah. and uh, he's really taken that literally. He really has. Um, of course, when he told me he wanted to thank every cop in America, I told him there were over 900,000 cops in America, and that was a really huge goal. And he said that that was okay. He was going to thank them. And so I suggested, well, maybe we should start local and just kind of see what happens. But he's 20 months into the program, 27 states visited, and over 55,000 donuts given out. So he really took it literal, and he's just very passionate about it. And he must have a pretty supportive mom. How do you guys even manage this with school and everything else? Um, it is not without difficulty, but we just make it work. You know, um, we have a huge support system. I live near all of my family members. My sisters are amazing. So they, you know, they help with the other children. If I'm not there, if I'm traveling with him, he goes to a wonderful school, Burnville Elementary. And uh, they just, they send his work with him when he's not there. And they're just fabulous. So everybody supports what he's doing. And we all believe that the same thing, that if you raise a compassionate child, that's super, super important. And so we all just work together to make it make it work. It must have been just such an incredible moment as a mom that your son wanted to do this of his own will. Absolutely. And it's an incredible moment every single time I take him to an event. No matter how many we do, it's just always this moment when I step back and kind of just watch everything that's going on. And I'm like, wow, you know, that's my kid right there. This is just incredible you know and we're so proud of him his dad and I his whole entire family all of the police officers they just love him so much and he's he's part of an even bigger family he's part of the blue family and we just love and respect them so much perfect well he is down here with his mom happy mother's day by thank the way you. Thank we're you so down much. at rfk stadium waiting for the procession that's going to get underway at 10 30 1500 motorcyclists going to be uh, doing a procession down to the National Mall and the National Law Enforcement Memorial. We'll have more on that later on in the show. Reporting live from RFK Stadium, Sarah Consmo, WUSA 9. Well, Sarah, what a sweet kid.